Hello, I am the Reverend Tammy Brantley, and I invite you into our Transform by Faith Today podcast. Today, our scripture reference, as we continue on the theme of Pentecost, can be found in Acts chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. I will show wonders in heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. This here message comes in the midst as Peter is speaking of what the prophet Joel has already spoken. Here in this message, as Peter addresses the crowd, he is explaining what is now to happen. It's a futuristic way of looking at things, but it's a way for Peter to help the crowd see that we will know the time when the Son of Man will come again. And these are the signs that we will know to begin to see when wonders in the heavens above and there will be signs here on earth. These are the places when the sun is turned to darkness and the moon to blood, is that when we see these things in the figurative sense, it is a sign that this will all happen before the great and glorious day of the Lord. It's a place where... It is a reminder that those of us who are connected through the power of the Holy Spirit, when we receive Christ, will be able to receive when he's coming back again. But it's also a sign that lets us know that before the returning of the Lord, before those who have called on the name of the Lord to be saved, for those who consider themselves Christians, for those who have accepted Jesus Christ, There will be an opportunity before the great resurrection, before the Lord returns, for us to know of his coming. This verse gives us hope in knowing that when we have connected with Christ, when our salvation lies in Christ, when we have accepted this relationship and believe in faith and have accepted the Lord Jesus as our Lord and Savior, That as we walk on this journey of faith, as we walk on this journey of as Christian disciples, as we continue to do the work of the Lord, that it is our responsibility to continue to move because we will know when the time is coming. But the time will not come until all that has been fulfilled, that has been spoken, will happen. Today, as Christians, a lot of times it's hard to hear these signs and hear these wonders happening and even imagine the sun turning to darkness or the moon to blood. But as we think about those things, it is actually a reminder to know that the Lord will give us a sign. The Lord will prompt us to know when he's coming. The Lord will give us vision enough to know that the time is coming that we will be able to be one with the Lord. But what is great about this whole piece is that it will be a sign that we have heard and read before. It will be a sign that is recognizable, but it is also a sign to let us know that in everything, God gives us a warning. I like this scripture because it makes me think of even as we drive, we don't just aimlessly drive down the street. We don't aimlessly drive without looking for road signs. We don't aimlessly drive not paying attention, looking for stop signs or stop lights or red lights. And just as we travel down the road, whether we're driving or riding in the car, We are constantly looking for signs so that we know where we're going and when we get to that destination. Let us be encouraged today that there will always be a sign to let us know the path in which we're going when we have accepted the Lord as our Savior. There will be signs to let us know which part of the journey and where we're going as we travel. But there will always be a sign to let us know when we have reached our destination Be encouraged that on this journey, that the Lord will provide signs for us to know when we're in his presence and signs to know when we get to the place of our destination. Amen.